Well, the most impressive uh, a priest that I ever met, I suppose, was Father Angus Finucan, and we were visiting Rwanda uh, some time shortly after the genocide in Rwanda. And uh, as part of that visit, you know, we came across a church which had been a refuge uh, for a lot of people who were fleeing from the, um, the killers, really, in the genocide. And the church was was opened, uh, the doors were off, and, uh, bombs had exploded inside it, and you could see the uh, residue of the people who had been there, pots and pans and radios and things like that. But also the tabernacle of the church uh, was open. And at one point I just observed Angus looking at this scene, and he was ashen-faced. And it was, to me, he had confronted the abomination of desolation, really, in that particular point. You know, that, that, that a, a, a place of refuge, the house of God, could have been the scene of such a terrible atrocity, I think struck him very forcefully. And the, the whole humanity of the man, I think, was evident in, in, in that. And the last part of our trip, which was very moving for me, was that we were staying in a house in Kigali, which is the capital city of Rwanda, uh, over a weekend. And on the Sunday morning, he celebrated Mass in the kitchen of the house. And it was so intimate. And you got the impression of a man who was so deeply living out his own ministry and his vocation in the breaking of bread. In, it was almost Christ-like in terms of its naturalness and the naturalness of the surroundings, but surroundings which at the same time uh, were permeated with evil because of what had happened in that country. And that was just a snapshot into the life of Angus Finucane, but of course the whole of his working life, effectively for about 40 years or so, was spent in missionary work and in humanitarian work. And I was privileged just to see a very short snapshot of it, and it made a lasting impression on me. <laughs>